All right. Hey, Tip everybody. 125. <laughs> no, I did something weird to the camera. Um, so today is... October 21st, 2020. Uh, night, day five of the Savannah STEM cycle. A journey I, uh, of um, IVF journey number three, third to charm. Um, I think I'm gonna actually do it on the other side today because normally I've been putting it on my right, but I'm actually getting a little bit of a bruise there. Getting a little bit of a bruise. I went in today for blood work, and it looks like they're my, bringing her back tomorrow. Yeah, they're bringing me back tomorrow. I thought that was a little unusual. Savannah says that before. Well, they normally do. They'll, they'll bring you back and bring you back. But I think it's a little early. Let me do it. Yeah, a little early in the cycle. Let me go on. Back to back to back. You wanna um, tilt it a little bit? I see. So I'm gonna shoot myself up right here today. It goes in nice and going in pretty nice. Now this is the part where it burns. Two going quick, good. Good jobs. It actually does hurt. Sure. I think I say that every sure time. Sure it does. The needle. Sure tum It's kind of um. It is making me exhausted. This process this time. Um. I don't remember being this tired. Exhausted, um, yeah, and I've been eating like about one meal a day. I just haven't been super hungry or anything, but yeah, my stomach is bloated, and oh my gosh, it's like a beast thing. It's like after. Oh, it hurts. It's that one side don't like me, but it does it. You can see that actually. And my stomach is like Love them. which stinks because this oh, is, she's the corner, this is yeah this is like my favorite time of the year it's Halloween and I you know this is gonna sound so juvenile but like I haven't even like gotten a cost like I always get like a costume or get all excited. You get all dolled up and, and yeah, I mean I very go out big in the makeup and, and all that. The wigs and the makeup and like spare no expense kind of thing. And this year, you know, we got invited to like a Halloween party at our neighbors who they throw the world's most epic Halloween party ever. And I know it's COVID and da 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 da. Girls gotta live a little, you know, whatever. Hate me in the comments. I'm going through IVF, bite me. I don't really care. Sorry, you and, to um, <laughs> yeah, you can't snap my back on, no. I know. Uh, anyways, but we got invited, and, um, like, I know, it's like such a, min like, minuscule, minuscule problem to have, but, I have no idea like what to go as or what kind of costume to even pick up because when my boobs are ginormous now, my stomach is Loaded. disgusting. Like my body is just disgusting. And you know, like I guess I can go as a cow. I feel. Anyway, I mean, I'm already wearing animal print. I might as well be a cow. So, 
make you feel beautiful. Thank you to say that. Um. What's this needle in there? Yeah, there is a needle. No. Oh, um, a strip of thumb in there? Yeah, it seems like a little. I don't know where the little camera is. There's a needle inside here, and I was about ready to. I have done it before too, though, and I know I have. Um. Anyway, I'm just tired and crabby, fat, and even though I'm complaining, I am grateful to be able to go through this experience again, and, and I feel very fortunate. And obviously this takes precedent over Halloween, any day, any time. Um, I had my thyroid removed about like two years ago, right around this time of the year too. And I remember thinking, what am I going to be for Halloween when I have a Marie Antoinette um, incision across my neck and that year we didn't do anything because obviously that <laughs> girl had thyroid cancer so wasn't doing nothing that year. but. And I know this year's the whole COVID year, an IVF year, but still, I like the dress up. I like to have the excuse to like... Dress as something scary. <laughs> I do like scary costumes or something, but hopefully... I'm the one that shows a little skin. Yeah, I usually do. Get dressed, you know. No one wants to see that. But thank you no. for watching our our show. This is my I call it my Cinderella blanket. It has a bunch of like little pumpkins, pumpkins. It's hard to see, like a little silver lining. And then we do have a Halloween tree, which I'll just show you guys <laughs> real quick because you're pretty proud of your tree. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay, can you see this? That's Jeeves, my butler. And that's my Halloween tree, as you can see. So, I love, love, love Halloween. It is, to me, magic and just one of those, I don't know, it's just like one of those special, special holidays. Well, that is it for now. Journey number three, almost done. Um, going tomorrow.